What's going on, everybody? I am Mick Manhattan, the Scene Snob. I'm here to talk to you about Kimball's Cookies. They've been our sponsor since the beginning, and we truly love them. They make custom cookies for every special occasion or holiday that you can think of. So order today, and you can order in sugar cookie, you can order chocolate. They have gluten-free options. They take care of you, and they're designed with love. I can tell you that for a fact. So check out Kimball's Cookies on Facebook, and when you order, use promo code SNOBS, and they'll give you 10% off your order. Thanks. What's up, everybody? It's the Scene Snob. I'm Mick Manhattan, and I'm here to talk to you guys about our awesome sponsor, Manscaped. They are the premier tool for your grooming downstairs. Summer's coming. Are you ready to unveil your beach pod? You're in luck. Our friends at Manscaped just launched their fourth generation performance package, which includes the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, the 4.0 is here. Compliment your summer bod with a trim from the leaders in male grooming. The sun is shining, call your name, guys. Join the two million men who trust Manscaped worldwide, including myself and all of the hosts here, and get ready for Hot Guy Summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code SNOBS, S-N-O-B-S, and they'll get 20% off of free shipping. So go check out Manscaped now. They have amazing stuff like the 4.0, the Weed Whacker, the Crop Shaver, and all of their deodorizers and everything else are truly, truly amazing. I wear their underwear. I think it's just fantastic. But don't, don't take my word for it. Go check them out yourselves because they have plenty of stuff for everybody. So go to manscaped.com and tell them the scene snob sent you by using promo code SNOBS, and I'll talk to you guys later. Welcome to the Teen Zone Podcast. I'm I'm Teen Zone Junior. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, All right. welcome, man. Hey, so, Teen Zone, good to be here, guys. Great to have you. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you, man. So, uh, tell us, I'm very excited for bloody summer camp i've been reading about it since uh you know for a while now since you guys filmed and everything so tell us more about it uh, like what movies about it for them and you know please tell us like who you play and things like that okay yeah so um my name is matthew sharp and i uh am one of the um uh camp counselors in bloody summer camp now bloody summer camp is it's a period piece throwback 1980s style summer camp slash we all know the genre uh, so it's written by Dave Kerr, written and directed by Dave Kerr, slash the 15 Productions, and the booth right behind me. We are so happy this thing. All right, so it's going to be the world premiere here at Carroll and Fear Fest, out of the draft house, 8 o'clock. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Now, so, were you a fan of that slasher genre growing up? Oh, yeah. Awesome. I, I think the quintessential summer 1980s summer camp slasher, which is kind of like a subgenre of, of slashers in general. You know? I think the big three are obviously Friday the 13th, Sleepaway Camp, and The Burning. Okay, there you go. Speaking of Sleepaway Camp, all right, probably, you know, one of the most famous summer camp slashers of all time, Melissa Rose, got her claim to fame. She's starting to play summer camp. We got her back, all right? Because, yeah, it, what better fit for a summer camp slasher throw that 1980s love letter to the genre? You gotta get close in the grass. Yeah, yeah. that is awesome. You know, um, I gotta I gotta tell you again, it's just called Bloody Summer Camp. So it's very exciting to me because it tells me exactly what I'm doing. Right? <laughs> and I grew up like I was an 80s kid, basically. I don't know, uh, you look a little really younger. Uh, I was born in 85. That's oh, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. That's yeah. Um, so oh, I'm not into it. This is great. All right. You were, you, were, you were born in that past the very short shorts that the summer camps provide. Yeah, the, yeah, the booty shorts and the crop top, right? Yeah. Well, I, I tell you what, if you watch Bloody Summer Camp, you will see booty shorts and crop tops. I want to rock a crop top the entire movie. Yes. You know what? All right. that, yeah, well, there you go. You, saw, you may have been born in 85, but you now lived it, so you know. <laughs> yeah. And Bloody Summer Camp takes place in 1986. Okay. Uh, I love it. So, a year after you were born. That's amazing, man. That's yeah. Awesome. So, I was alive in the universe 
creative I've raised on my family. So, you know, I, I, tell, I say I'm an 80s kid, but I'm not really, because if you're two years old, you don't remember the 80s. Well, of course, that's the, yeah. So I had to go watch the movies to get the vibe, right? Right. Well, well that's, that's Yeah, do a little research. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, there's so much nostalgia for 80s movies now, especially, you know, I love it, because we go back and we're getting more like Bloody Summer Camp to come out and do that and, and kind of show people some stranger things, get it to uh, show that world. So it's a lot of fun. This is just a different era. It really was. And to me, I think we got the best movies. Agreed. Yeah. A lot of decade had the best horror. Hands down. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's that's cool. Cool. I mean, my favorite movies may have come from the 70s. Like Halloween's one of my tops. But they really refined it and perfected just straight slasher murder in the 80s. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and that's why I'm so hyped for this project because we got. I don't want to say cliches, but we are doing them. It's, it's a love letter for me to design. All right, so you get like the detail that went into this movie, getting the wardrobe down, getting the vehicles down, even the uh, terminology and the way people talk and things like that. Gonna, if you like, if you like some of them slashers, like we said, it's called Bloody Summer Day. I guarantee you, you will see a Bloody Summer Day. Yes, and you know, it's, it's funny that you mentioned cliches, because I think about it, and when we talk about horror, there's so many cliches in horror. But you need, that's what the fans want. They want original kills, but they want the cliches of like these characters and things like that. Because so yeah, the they tropes work. are tropes because they work. Yeah. You know, and, and, and my character is a character type that you'll see in every slasher movie. I played the asshole jock. Like, you know, that, the guy that has the inferiority complex that everyone yeah. hates. You watch the movie, my, my character is, uh, is a guy named Zach, and he's the fitness counselor. Oh, perfect. You watch this movie rooting for Zach to die, right? Do I live? Do I die? Am I the killer? I can't reveal that. But you got to come check it out. I you love it. it. Strong setup. Like it. That. <laughs> is this the first, uh, the first time you're showing in a theater? Uh, like yeah, we're here. This is a premiere. Yep. We, we uh, got through a post-production phase a couple months ago. Got it wrapped and printed. Uh, exclusive rights for the world premiere goes to California Beer Fest. And then we're going to start our circuit. We got a premiere next month. Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. So, congratulations on that, man. Yeah. Love that you're doing it. Uh, we cannot wait to see it. Hopefully we can get out there tonight. We are live broadcasting all day. So, I, I'm not sure what time it starts. Either. I think it's, uh, well, it's a double feature tonight. I think, right? Yeah, it's going to be a double feature with the second block. So, just... Uh, head to the Alamo Draft House. I get there a little bit early, grab your seats. Uh, screen starts at 8 o'clock. All right, you already know, everybody. So if you are in the Raleigh area, head over to the Alamo Draft House. Make sure you go see Bloody Summer Camp. It sounds amazing. I know Remnants is playing before it at 6 o'clock. So Remnants is another one uh, I got to see last year. So go check that out. It's a lot of fun. And we want to thank Matthew Sharp. <laughs> Matthew, thank for being on. Matthew, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Awesome, Rob. Uh, it seems nice. Yes. Thank you, guys. And if you want to awesome. pop by and answer any questions, please. Yeah. Right, I'll be here. We got, uh, we got, uh, we, got uh, we will. So. Uh, what's your name, man? Uh, uh, Brendan Lynch. Brendan Lynch. Yes. Yes. Brendan Lynch. Yes. Welcome, man. You're, uh, you're in the movie. You're in the movie. I am. I play Donnie Gats. All right. Yes. I want to say, fuck off, Donnie. Can you just say that? That's me. That's awesome. Let me ask you. What? We have the clowns oh, going crazy. We have the clowns going crazy here, everybody. We never know. It's just happen. killer clowns in the corner. It's fine. I'm just like I have to keep <laughs> one eye on them at all times. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Well, he's got a clown thing. Uh, you know, no, no. Yeah. I'm not afraid of them. Someone could mean it. Mean it this time. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. No one's afraid of the clowns at this table. I just don't trust them. Ah. But, uh, you never know. I got you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Trust the commitment issues more. Than you <laughs> so, Brendan, tell us, man. Uh, you know, we, we heard about the movie a little bit, but we want to hear your experience. My experience, yes. So, uh, basically, uh, scouring for casting calls and things like that, I came across uh, Dave Kerr, who was, who's our director, his post, and he's like, hey, at these list of characters, I saw Donnie, it was, you know, kind of nerdy, dorky, yeah, kid in a wheelchair, just like super innocent, and I was like, yeah, let's, let's do that, let's do that, and and actually, on first friends, I, I told people, he's like, my first night picture, I was like, no, 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 you're, somebody's not right about you. And I was like, no, 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 come on, let me audition, let me audition. And then, basically, Dave was like, well, on the audition, Dave was like, oh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And I was like, ah. So, super excited. Uh, we filmed at this 
uh, kids' summer camp and it was built in like the late 80s, early 90s, but it's got that old summer camp look, which is so great for everything that we were shooting. And it was just a blast. Even with COVID hitting, we had such a great time going up there, filming. It felt like an adult summer camp for us. That's for us. It was cool. so much fun. So the uh, COVID didn't really interrupt too much the, the process there? Or, it, 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 it kind of destroyed it everything. Had, it had its fun. It had its fun. I'll yeah. say that. We um, were supposed to finish the film. I believe in May, and basically that got pushed to, we actually ended up finishing it in, basically in August, there were a couple of reshoots in September, but everything was finished. Yeah, that's pretty great, considering yes. most projects got pushed like a year behind, yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was, yeah. It was, yeah. It was, yeah. It was, yeah. As I was telling Matthew sitting down, uh, I remember reading a lot about it, because there was a lot of literature about Blake like, Summer Camp, you know, being made and such, so. I was very happy to see that it got completed, and that, you know, now to see that it's world premiering tonight. That's yeah. awesome. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We were all super relieved too. There's, and it was like one scene we thought was just cursed because we tried filming it, and then there was something weird with the camera angle. So we were like, try filming again, and COVID hit, so I could push back. Try filming again. This massive rainstorm just came. Oh. We got about ten minutes into starting all the camera, and this massive rainstorm came. We're like. You know what? That's just a summer storm. Whatever. It'll be done like five minutes. An hour and a half later, the crowd is so dissolved. Oh. The one is like, so, we're going to push it back like a week. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this, this one is happening. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. We probably got the scene done. We probably got the scene done. It's amazingly. It's the same stuff took like a year to actually shoot. Wow. Yeah, that's coming <laughs> out. Well, uh, which uh, scene should we be looking for? Yes. This I'm, I'm curious as to which scene it would be. Now it's it is, yeah. It, yeah, it's it's gonna be early on. It's gonna be around where like the counselor. She actually don't notice it that well. Okay. Dave and Owen who are just amazing at editing and stuff like that. You don't notice it at all, but I guarantee you in the theater, if you look at like we got like some cameras just like pushing around, she just, when that scene comes out, you're gonna just see the biggest smiles and some of the counselors just be like that scene. So. Did we ever do it? <laughs> that's fantastic. That's wonderful. So, uh, for you to come back into a movie that's a throwback to the '80s, mm-hmm. it, it takes place in the '80s, so it's a period piece. Uh, what are some of your '80s movies that yeah. stick out horror, especially? So, uh, so, I was always a fan of your you know, classics, Friday the Thirteenth, Halloween, things like that. Um, I'm also a big My Bloody Valentine fan. I Grace. absolutely love it because I'm like, no one uses a pickaxe. There you go. It's just so good. Uh, good fan. Big shout out to Canada. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Maple Street and My Bloody Valentine, you know, they're providing the two taste. Two for two, right? Two for well, two. Well, maybe they got something to do. So really, it's awesome. Celine Dion, Ryan Reynolds. I mean, oh, national treasures. Jesus. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Obviously, I'm, I'm, big, I'm just big on the classics, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, yeah, so those are those are probably my go-tos for any score films. Yeah, and within those, what is, what is one of your favorite kills that you think of immediately when you think slash? Favorite kills? Oh, gosh. I mean, come on, man. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> oh, right to the next. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's, that's it's, a it's it's Kevin Bacon, because now it's like, Kevin Bacon's like all big. You're like, oh, Kevin Bacon's going to have to destroy. <laughs> And it comes out of nowhere. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Exactly. The first time you see that movie, you're like, I don't know. So, like, <laughs> now I think things kind of pop through. Uh, like, you watch documentary like, stuff, you're going to see that scene. Yeah. But I think if you go into that fresh, like, yeah, it's, it's hard. Like, it's still oh, it's gets me best. It's the yeah. best, man. I love it. I love it. What you guys think? Um, oh, my God. I'm mean, sleeping bag. Nice. Bangs to see Like, I mean, that, that's pretty wild. Yeah, the one for me is still out of Halloween when the guy gets hoisted off the floor and then stabbed through the door and that's hung on the door. Yeah. With one oh, yeah. Stab. It's like, yeah. Well, you know, I might have to give it to CJ Graham, who is here. I've seen him. Group. I've seen him walking around, yeah. When he smashes her face into the yes. wall. Oh, yeah. Like, makes the imprint. And yeah. it's just so weird. Really awesome. And it's so, like, shouldn't exist, but. He was that massive of a dude. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess. Oh, sure. Sure. I'll do that in an RV. I believe it. <laughs> you, sir, 
Yeah, just the smoke coffee. He deserves it. He's earned it. He's earned it. He's earned it. In fact, if we can get him over here, we're going to have him do it to the Mad Man. It's right up against the Mad Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. 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 This, yeah. this is the problem. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll totally yeah. find him. I'm like, you want to do something really cool? It's for the ratings. Yes. Yeah. Nice. More. Yeah, it's only murdery ish. <laughs> so you you got to be super excited, man, to have a world Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, considering everything that's happened this past year, it's like, it's been like a long time coming, but I am, I'm super pumped. I'm super pumped. I am ready. Um, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Uh, I am just excited because Dave has just fun little twists and turns here and there in the film, and. I'm just excited for now, like for us to see it because we've only seen scenes. Like, we've just seen little clips here and there. Oh, so we haven't even seen five o'clock. Yeah, this so, is yours. So, yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. Oh, so, we're all like, hey, look at this. And we're like, ooh. Nice. It's going exactly. to be great, man. It's well deserved. You know, I know it's going to be great. Oh, yeah. We're doing great things. I'm super excited. Yeah. You know, following Dave online and stuff like that. Like, just get all like the little bits to it. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, we're excited about this. And then. Uh, he's got the go away coming in uh, the fall time with the shooter film, which we're excited about. I'm, not, I'm actually in that as well, so we're super pumped about Sweet. that. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's a good it's a good year. It's a good year. Love it, man. Yeah, and that's, that's all. Awesome. What's the name of the studio one more time? Slash of fifteen production. Slash of fifteen production. So oh, slash of fifteen films. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. It all works. You find it. Trust me. Uh, so bloody summer camp, everybody. That's coming out tonight. World premiere. I know it's gonna be in Fredericksburg in June. On June twelfth, I believe. So make sure you guys, if you're in the area, be able to watch it. And then after that, hopefully it will be out so everybody yeah. can get a copy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we still have our, uh, you can buy some Blu-rays. If you get it, so get your link. I'll come down and get your link. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. we'd love to see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, uh, Brenda, thank you so well, much for having me. Thank you for having me, guys. Appreciate it, guys. Awesome. So, you know, we have two stars in the movie. Yeah. Straight up celebs. Um, I got to meet this guy right back uh, last year when you premiered your movie Four Keys. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you invited me out, and let me tell you, it's, I think I told you, and I wrote about it. It's like my Jason Jones. Yeah. In the series, like I like it more than someone in the series. So you went out, you wrote it, you directed it, uh, you paid perfect tribute to it. That's how I actually came up. Car, we passed the cemetery. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what yeah, happened. Yeah. 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 We were talking. I was like, wow. being from Jersey, I was like, it was so cool. I was like, you actually went there and shot there in the town, you know, to capture that. Yeah, and, you know, that was we appreciate it. And just being fans, you appreciate it so much. Um, but you know, before he's about now for all of you to go check out, we have Cody here who has directed it. Yeah. Yeah. Here is the star, the star, the, the star. star, the star, the star, the starina, if you will. There is no bigger star, not, no, not at this table right now, right there. Jason's Jason's cool. Yeah, I mean, but Jason's ethereal, like you know, it's just always yeah. Yeah. listen, Jason. Jason is the guy you need to see. Yeah. 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 The final girl. Or maybe not. We don't know. Go see the movie. Yeah, we'll check it out. out. Find out for yourself. Now, a uh, quick question about more of these. Now, that was kind of the way it came across and the way I've been told. Do you consider that kind of like a love letter to that slasher icon? I mean, yeah, for me, it was like a bucket list thing. You know, I was going to do it regardless. You know what I mean? I had to go with it. Listen, Jason's always made sense to me. You know, he's like probably my favorite slasher. Um, no, the boys, was blood, sweat, and tears passion project, man. You know, made by the fans. You know, just a million views. Yep. Holy so, cow, good job. Wow. In under five months. Wow. So we are radical. The fans have been just outstanding. Uh, Kate Hodges is in there. He's in the Fantastic Tourists, too. Yeah. And, uh, it's, it's been an honor, honestly. You know, uh, we're, we're feeling so much gratitude. You know? It's, it's like, you know, to have that many people acknowledge. Yeah, it's a huge deal. Yeah, especially being, like you said, a love It's that, it's that special connection to build to something. So to be able to build upon it and do as well, if not better, is something that you know, it's pretty impressive. Yeah. 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 You actually, you're in the Fantastic Four film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you well, we do want to get to Bloody Summer Camp because that's when you're staying up and starting. But uh, I saw that you were doing a half film. 
hear about that being on our fans. I mean, now you're stepping right into Michael Myers territory. Can you talk about that a little bit? Why is it where I can say that? Yeah, we're going to talk about it. We're shooting that in Chicago. Um, not a Hollywood film, unofficial, you know, film, but uh, Matt Productions. Matt Productions. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, Raiden came out for the premiere as well from Chicago. He did kind of the press, and at the time he was writing his Halloween script. And you know, like you said, I mean, Halloween. Jay said, you know, it's all you know. You gotta love them both, and. Um, I thought it was a great timing for me. Like I just did Jason. Like, of course, now let's go to Myers, you know. And uh, we've, we've had fun. Yeah. Checking out to Chicago in Illinois, where like it takes place. That's awesome. None of the yeah. other ones did. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, Alice, I just want to make sure I got your dad's name right. It's Pasca. I want to make sure I got her name so that way they can go out and look her in. Yes. Um, so. Going on with, again, before Bloody Summer Camp, I want to talk about this. Smack is another movie we were talking about. Yeah. I'm going to be doing a write-up on it and have it out for you guys to read soon. But the crowdfunding is still going. We're going to put the link up here. Thank you. We want to support you, of course. Thanks, Alex. Do you want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to see Switch and Hold the Record. Awesome. Oh, awesome. That is great. Yeah, it's probably got like three days left. It's already held up. It's already held up. Fantastic. The timing of it sounds great, and I'm really hoping you all get your goal. Thanks so, so we're definitely going to push hard here. If you guys would be okay with it, to continue, I would love to add to the write up. Um, if, I know I shouldn't be asking on air, but I'm going to add it. If you guys would do you know, separate interviews so that way I can add to that. Sure. Yeah. Into, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I would love to really promote that because, again, we are all about. Yeah, drug and substance abuse, things like that, being awareness. Like that. Appreciate it. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah, I'm so happy to hear that. You're directing, you're back in, you're starring in it. And then, uh, you guys are together again, uh, power couple right now. Right. Awesome. Pretty much. You know, we're, we're going at it, you know, doing the best we could, you know, we love film, we love acting, we love making, I mean, we're nerds for this stuff, you know what I mean? It's awesome. Let me breathe. Yeah. Right. I love it. We talked about that too, and uh, you know, I, I, I've mentioned that before, especially you. I know how much you love this. Oh, yeah. So, and you're, definitely, and you're humble about it. You go out there. Yeah. Thank you so much. Really yeah. appreciate it. Now, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about Bloody Summer. Of course. Of course. For the yeah. world premiere this Thanks year. Yeah. Yes. That is awesome. Awesome. That was a cool place. I have to go. Um, try, I'm going to yeah, borrow and see if. No, they all, they all bailed. They're all oh, bailed. Oh, no. <laughs> It's so fast. It's premiering tonight. Yeah. Um, you're no stranger to premieres, but how excited are you, man? And uh, tell us about the movie. A little bit. Man, I'm beyond excited. I'm not gonna lie. I'm super nervous. Super nervous. Just because you know uh, the guys are so great. Right? I mean, the actors are so great. I mean, uh, for me, seeing myself on the screen is gonna be a little weird for a while since I've done something like this. But uh, I could be more proud of the team, man. The actors. Being able to work with Dave Sheridan, Alyssa Rose, grew up watching Sleepy Wet Camp, grew up watching Scary Movie, you know. Uh, it was an honor to work with him. And I play lead in Bloody Sunday Camp. So, like, to me, it was like, wow, you know, I'm getting ready to go against these guys. And then all these other local talent actors, actresses, it was really like a family man working on Bloody Sunday. It really wasn't like, I, it was truly uh, just a blast to work with these guys. Uh, 
then going back to the roots, similar to the team, camp kind of 80s slasher, gotta love that as a horror fan, and uh, I'm excited about the premiere. I'm really excited. Uh, I mean, we're so happy to have you, man, and uh, thank you for coming back. So yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm so, that's so cool. I did not know you were directing Smack, so yeah, I'm really I, happy to hear I, that. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, you heard it here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe fourth. No, this is, but for sure, like, uh, you know, I cannot wait to see that as well. Everything you guys have been doing so, uh, keep it up. Yeah. Thank you so much. Keep rocking and rolling. I hope tonight is everything you want it to be. Thank you so much. Maybe yeah. a little more. And yeah. Maybe a little late, like I said, with the write up, but like, you always have a supporter here at the season. Absolutely. So, yeah, I know. You guys have been great. Always here for y'all. So, 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 thank you. Appreciate you. And thank if you're here tomorrow, come back to us on the premiere. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we'd Absolutely. love to have you back on. Absolutely. You too. Of course, Alex. Mm -hmm. So, thank 25. Right? Alex. Yeah, that's awesome. Right? Yeah, right? We got to pitch back a little bit. And then that sounded wrong. Well, actually, before yeah. you leave, let's hear what's your favorite movie, what's your favorite horror movies? You know, because we're doing that for the edition of Carolina Fear Fest. Tell us some of your favorite horror movies. Before. Top three remote droppers. Yeah. What you got to watch? Want me to go first? Bloody <laughs> Summer Camp 4 Heat. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Dead. Oh, yeah. Yes. Haven't had Evil Dead yet today. Uh, I'm trying. I don't want, I'm trying to come up with cliche ones for you. Um, <laughs> no, that's, that one's perfect, right? It's hard though. I'm gonna go to be. I'm gonna go to be basket case. Oh yes, yes. Um, and just because it was shot uh, down the street from us, I got him into the Exorcist. There you, know? you go. Yeah. So. That guy shows a lot. Still scares the shit out of me. Uh, yeah, it's terrifying. I, I will tell you, I, we were doing trivia questions all day for the Killer Clues thing here, and I asked uh, a few different exercise questions, and nobody got them right. Nope. I had a whole three. Nobody was getting right. But also, I got the 513 out there, of course, though. Wow. Yeah. 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 You just so, got to brought Jason uh, back. Got to go after that out there. But. I feel like every a lot of people probably say that, right? But, yeah, I mean, it's, so. it's a big one. Yeah, I have Halloween I'm, pretty much. I'm going to add to it and say that my endorsement means nothing. I'm no. sure he's, no. but Tommy McLaughlin, uh, CJ Graham, all the big hitters in the front Friday the 13th world all endorse this movie. They love your movie. Yep. So, they did. Uh, big fans. Absolutely. Be harder, too. Yeah. I, I talked to Tom uh, just a couple days ago, actually, and part six was one of my favorite fighters, I think, um, and I thought he did a great job. And, and to get his blessing on Boris, you know, um, what can you say? You know what I mean? Like, I, I grew pretty up, heavy. Yeah, yeah, man. I, those guys are role models to me, man. You know, so uh, I can't wait. So cool. yeah. I can't wait to see what you guys do with uh, Halloween. Now it's top three. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is a tough one. Um, honestly, oh god. That's <laughs> Halloween. Like a That's <laughs> Halloween. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a huge horror fan like okay. that. Like, it can even be like hard. a thriller. We'll take it. It's like psychological. Yeah. So like from 1408. Yes. Like that oh, it's a great one. That's, a great one. Yeah. that's terrifying. What are you yeah. talking about? You don't like horror movies. It's scary. scary. Not like blood and guts. Yeah. You know, well, you don't need to be blood and guts. It's still scary. No, no. We accept all, all variations of that. Yeah. And then um, I know what you did last summer. Awesome one. I mean, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, thank awesome. you guys so much. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy awesome. the premiere tonight. Thank yeah, you seriously. so much. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a great time. Seriously. Thanks Can't so much. Can't wait to have you back. It's over meeting you guys. Oh, yeah, pleasure is all on this end of the table. Exactly. Sure. I'll Appreciate reach out to you guys about you know the uh, the interviews for Smack so that we can. Yes. Get yes. Oh, great. Thank, thank you so much, guys. Of course. course. You thank know you. that any support you need, I'd uh, yep. love to hear at the scene stops. Yeah. Support the scene stops. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm isolating that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. That's yeah. a thing now. Well, you guys are the boss. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a great time tonight. Be safe. All right. Thank you. Kay Leahy is here, and we are at Kay. Hey, how are you doing? This is Tiffany and Bloody Summer Camp. So yes. tell us. So what's happening? Uh, yeah, the world premiere last night. How does it feel? I, uh, surreal, really. Um, it's this has been an incredible two-year journey. That I mean, I started and I was like, oh my god, this is great. This will just be something really cool and fun that I can do. And it's just kind of 
blown up in the absolute best way. And it's been an incredible journey, truly. And I'm still on cloud nine and I can't wait to, I can't wait for everybody to see it. Well, um, I watched a lot of 80s movies, and um, I did uh, <laughs> did watch 80s horror specifically to prepare for this role, um, which, I mean, I'd done before, but, like, I looked at it with a new eye. You know, how are these actors doing it? Also, but also, how do I not want to do it like them? You know, how do I want to kind of make it my own, make it more natural, um, but at the same time still be playing to that uh, genre? You know, I added um, I added some, like, dialogue that wasn't originally in the script that um, I think I said in some work, um, someplace in there that what is your damage like yeah good line. That's a good line. I remember that one. We gotta bring that back. Yeah, I actually was like I, that's cool. I want you to start using that. I just have it here. Gotta give it up for using it. That's all. So super stoked to see him. You know, and you were uh, talking about like the uh, characters and stuff that you've had when you come by, you can imagine the black code in your life, you can imagine that the age of the black code in your life. So, you know, preparing sounds great, like watching the game, and stuff like that. Um, now, when it comes to the horror side of things, this, you know, this is your first time with the black, so how is that? How is that walking into like? I'm sure you've watched me, you said you watched me in the hair, but what's it like on the set? Well, I mean, I think for me, um, it felt very natural for me. Um, like, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but toot too. Um, yes. Uh, like, I've always kind of felt like that in the horror genre, I would love to play every single kind of character. Like, I want to be... The, the blonde that dies first, you know, I'm not giving anything away, I swear, um, but, like, I want to be the smart girl that survives, I want to be the creepy thing in the dark, like, you know, because, I mean, I just, I feel like it's, it might be my niche. I would love to do other things, but I really love being in horror, so I was pretty much preparing before I even got the role. I've never heard anybody show that that's awesome thing. So, you know, that this might be my niche. This might be what I like and I want to enjoy it. And that's what I do. But that's awesome. That's going to find your light and go, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, that you appreciate our attention right here. That's it. Um, you know, I appreciate you coming on. And yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Are you going to be at the other premieres? Uh, that's a good one. I'll be at the one in Fredericksburg. Um, but I. Uh, I think I'm doing, I think I'm going to be on set for a different project for yeah, the awesome. other one in July. Well, so. that's great. What new project? What do you want to say about Um. And then you can say, uh, so no, yeah. probably better. Yeah. So um, I've actually gotten a couple other horror film roles off of this one, you know, just by, I just kind of like jumped head first into this, this whole community. And I, they were really loving and embraced me, and I'm so grateful for it. Um, but because of this project, I've been able. People are like, "She's great. She's great." Some people are they're approaching me for work, and that that is really truly like it's incredible. It's incredible. That's fantastic. Yeah, seriously, that's great to hear. Well done. It's all about the art community, more grace. Yeah. I remember a family. It's such a great to hear. You're so happy to hear about the success. Oh, yeah. We've been bloody sucking for this question. It's fantastic. We've been stopped several times for people to tell us how much they loved it. And asking if we were in the premiere, like, we want to talk about it with other people. Right. We got it. So we'll be in front of you. Oh, good. We'll check out there. Good. Can't wait to see it. So excited. Hey, thank you so much. And remember, see Bloody Summer Camp, watch the ticket. Uh, 
<laughs> yes. Thank you, Kate. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, maybe we'll be doing this for the next 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, guys. Thank you so much for having me. And that's our show, everybody. Thanks for listening or watching wherever you're checking it out. Uh, this show is brought to you by our sponsor, Manscaped. Uh, go check them out. They are saving our balls and they can save yours too. Or somebody you care about. That's uh, a pretty awesome device. So go check out what they got. The Lawnmower 3.0, the Weed Whacker, and more. Uh, it's a great gift for Father's Day, birthdays, weddings, anything. Uh, so yeah, head over there and use promo code SNOBS, S-N-O-B-S, and you'll get 20% off and free shipping. Also, we'd like to thank our super fan patrons. Uh, they are all Scene Snob family to us. Uh, they support us every month, and you can be one too. So head over to the Patreon channel, uh, the Scene Snobs, and uh, you can, it's $5 a month, and you can join in with helping support us and get the free perks too. Uh, also, you can follow us on social media. We are on everything at the Scene Snobs, so Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok. Uh, we are on Facebook, the Scene Snobs. Uh, everywhere. We have fun stuff always going on, always have contests and stuff, so go follow us, check us out. You can go to our link tree by going to thescenesnobs.com. There's our link tree, there's our patron, uh, there is our all of our shows and the links for all of that, so thanks again for checking it out. Just head over to thescenesnobs.com where everything is, and we will talk to you soon.